Hello, and thank you for choosing IVSec. For support for your IVSec equipment, go to ivsecurity.com.au. Before you can add your recorder to the VMS software, you would need the QR code, which is available on top of the recorder as per the attached image. Please document this alphanumeric number, or you will also need your IP address if you're going to be accessing the camera locally, not remotely. This is available using the device search tool, which is available at the bottom of the YouTube video description or via the ivsecurity.com.au website. If you have a monitor attached to the recorder, you can click the circle with a lowercase i on the bottom right hand side and you can see both the IP address and P2P ID is available from this window. Please document these details for further use. We have already installed the VMS Pro software onto the Windows computer. To begin, double click on the VMS Pro icon. During the installation process, it prompted us to create a password, which we have already done, and we have already answered the security questions. When the password is entered, click Login. And to add your device, click the device management icon on the bottom left. Click the plus symbol. And then copy your QR code that you have previously obtained from the top of your recorder into this section. Change your login type to ID. The default port of the recorders is 9000. And enter your username and password of your recorder. Click add. If the recorder adds successfully, the status will turn green. If you wanted to set up your recorder using your IP address rather than your QR code, you'll click on the pencil mark and change the login type to IP and add your IP address of your recorder into this section. Please note, using your local IP address will only be able to access the cameras locally. If you take away your computer or laptop from the network, you will not be able to access it remotely. That's a reason for using the QR code. For this example, we will be leaving the QR code as is. Click Cancel. If you want to get access to your recorder settings, click the cog icon near the pencil mark. Expand the settings, and as you can see, you have access to all your recorder settings here to modify as required. Click the X on the top right hand side. To access live view of your cameras, click the home icon on the top left, main view, expand the root directory, and then expand your recorder. You can see a list of your cameras. If you only want one or two cameras showing, you can drag the camera over to the screens or if you want to watch all of them at once right click on your recorder and open all channel please ensure that set all uh, channel substream is selected otherwise too much bandwidth will be used to view the cameras if you are finished watching the cameras you can click close all channel If you wanted to watch one camera, you can drag it to the screen and double click on the camera to make it a larger image. Double click to make a smaller image or to close the preview, right click and click stop preview. If you have additional IVSec recorders in different locations, you can add them by going to device management, plus symbol top right, give the device a name, Select ID and paste the QR code of the second recorder in. Port number 9000 and type in the username and password of the second recorder. Wait for the status to turn green. You now have options to modify the settings of each recorder remotely by clicking on the gear icon. If you want to watch cameras from individual recorders, click on Main View, 
expand the root directory, expand both recorders, and drag one camera from one, and select a camera from another recorder, and you can see both at the same time. If you want to change the layout of the cameras or create a video wall, click the layout option at the bottom. For this example, we'll choose 16 layout. You can either add individual cameras by dragging them over or right click on each recorder and open all channel. You can also click the icon on the right hand side to make it full screen. To exit our full screen, press the escape button. And for cameras that support the zoom in and out function, click the following icon on the top left. And this will allow you to zoom in and out on your cameras. If you want to watch playback from your recorder, click the home icon, remote playback, Expand the root directory and expand your recorder. Select the cameras you want playback to. In the stream type, select substream. And select the date you are looking for. Click search. And to synchronize the playback of the cameras, click the following icon. To begin playback, press play. To fast forward, you can double click on a specific time. And to stop the recording, you can press the stop icon. If you want to export some of the recorded footage, click the home icon, click on system config, file config, and change the file type from RF, which is the default to either AVI or MP4. Click Save. If you do happen to back up your footage in RF format, you'll be required to use the inbuilt media player, which is on the top right hand side of the screen, to um, play back this footage. Right, go back into Remote Playback, click the scissors icon, and highlight which area of footage you want to back up to. Click the little disk icon. Choose the directory you want to download it to. And click download. It will give you a percentage of when it's complete. Okay, now that's complete. We can use the inbuilt media player to play back that footage. When you are done reviewing the footage, press stop and close the media player. If you exported the footage in AVI or MP4 format, you can also use a third party program like VLC to play back the footage. Once you confirm the footage is correct, you can then export it to a USB stick and give it to the proper authorities if required you'll see there are a lot more operations available within the VMS software. Further videos will be created at a later stage to discuss these options.